of the Lights on Monday night. We are late in the calendar year. That's a good time to be south, and that's where we are. The weather just perfect right now here tonight at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And hi again, everybody, alongside my partner, Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. the punter Jake Camarda is set to do the honors and off we go now from Tampa and he opts to not bring this one out the first drive will start at the 25 and here come the Saints for their opening drive they're led out by a three-time pro bowler owner of over 35,000 passing yards in 11 seasons the veteran Andy Dalton I love his football IQ. I love his ability to have people rally around him. And as he likes to remind me all the time when I get ready to call one of his games, I can run it a little bit too. A nice presence to have on your team. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, that's not the way you want to start. First pass attempt and a first drop. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. you got to shake that off and get going. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Blake Gillikin on the punt now on fourth down. They call out a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Tampa Bay's offense set to take the field, and of course the quarterback, 23-year veteran, who's had a Hall of Fame career several times over, the great Tom Brady. Well, we've all seen what Tom Brady can do on the football field for a couple of decades now, but how about his most impressive accomplishment, moving to a different franchise and taking them to a Super Bowl title as well. Not many players can continually stiff arm father time the way that he has. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their 36-yard line. And taken down just shy of the 40. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Just a gain of a couple there. And it brings up third and five now. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. 
So the ball moves from their own 41 to the other 41 here for first and 10. Up the gut, Fournette runs over it. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Brady going to throw. And oh, it caught it up. And this is picked up by the Saints. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. You can't admire his willingness to sacrifice his body to try and pick up the first down, and I do. But let's face it, you know his coaches are going to warn him about diving or extending for a marker for this exact reason. So much easier to have the ball knocked free when you're extended like that. So if you're going to dive, you got to make sure you secure the football, which he didn't. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. All right, let's see what Dalton can do after the fumble recovery. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Here's Dalton. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead you to third down. The throw of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Passing. It's Dalton. Nowhere to go. Here he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And he returns it to the end zone. the Bucs a 7 to nothing lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee. And they'll take over at the 25. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Levante David in on the tackle. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Dalton's throw there taken in by Smith. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 there in a New Orleans first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Dalton, first and ten. He'll find its tight end. It's Adam Troutman. 
short completion, just four yards, and that'll make it second down. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Dalton up, play action. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Vita Vea coming right up the gut, gets in there for a loss of nine. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle and frankly partner. It's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action fade. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Dalton now to pass. Looking for Landry and it's intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for the game of the So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember they had the field return for a score earlier in the game. And now this time an interception return for another score. for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. The New Orleans offense set to take over. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Airing it out deep for Smith. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Throwing, Dalton. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Fourteen nothing to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Saints with the football here to begin quarter number two. Blake Gillikin on to punt here as he'll send this one away. Take it in at the twenty-two. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, they could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. 
But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 and nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. On the draw, this is Fournette. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. He used the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So a good run by Fournette. Now another first and ten. Now they'll run on the draw. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now he'll throw with Brady. And this one caught by Cameron Bray. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 43. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. Brady now to throw. It's caught by Mike Evans. And this is gonna be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 24 yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Fournette, a first down carry. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Brady slow on target to Godwin here. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A well-executed 22-yard game. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Fournette. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked more flawless here in this first half, and now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen just 21-0 leads come and go in this league, but this one feels pretty darn secure. And here's the other part. Even when people chip away at it, it forces you into being almost perfect on the other side, doesn't it, in order to try and mount a comeback. Extra point try now for Suckham. And it is now 21 to nothing. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And the man who finished it off with a run into the end zone, Leonard Fournette.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Saints coming out now to take the field. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. From the 40 now on second down. Dalton. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Vita Vea able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. But he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks are starting to pile up. If they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Yeah, the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Coming left is Kamara. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Here's Blake Gillikin now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. We'll call that a 41-yard punt. The net a little greater, though, following a loss on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Well, the Bucks going to take over now late in this first half. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Send you a stone throw away across I-4 to Orlando. There standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First things first, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Saints. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. Second half straight ahead from Raymond James Stadium. Both teams finishing up their halftime adjustments. So for the call, let's get back over to Tampa and rejoin Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. From the end zone, here comes Jalen Darden. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. 
only able to get it to the two-yard line on his return, not going to make a lot of friends on your team when you only get it that far. Second half beginning with a run from Fournette. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. 45 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Well, so much for being backed up against the goal line to start the drive. He gave him some breathing room and then some. I think the defense really got caught thinking safety, trying to stack the line of scrimmage. And oftentimes, if you can get past the initial grouping, there's a lot of room to run. The defense actually fortunate that didn't go farther. They keep it with Fournette on first down. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Throwing on second and eight, Brady. And he'll get that to Fournette, complete. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Fournette running out of the gun. And not much there. Maybe a yard in the 24. No part now thinks any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Meanwhile, Brady's throw complete here. Pulled in by Brady. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Brady to his tight end, Braid, for the Tampa Bay first. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing now is Brady. He'll swing this out to Fournette. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there. and They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Now, meanwhile, the throw by Brady knocked away incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Throwing is Brady on third down. And incomplete on the deep ball. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Now Landry. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. On first and 10, here's Andy Dalton. There's Chris Olave. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. On second down, Kamara. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They've not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Dalton. And he'll just get rid of it. So another incomplete. 
completion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Back now comes Tampa Bay. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going Paul Mel like you would two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll run it again with Fournette. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 64 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Inside handoff now to Fournette. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Tampa. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Here's a give to Fournette. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. The carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Only able to gain a couple there. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. He completes it to Evans. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 15-yard line. A third down conversion with a strong gain of 14. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and tell you to look like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. They go back to the ground now with Fournette. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Again, it's Fournette. Eight yards on the ground there, and now they're looking at a third and two. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Brady looking to throw on third and two. And he 
goes into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Tom Brady, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs have the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. And I have to say we're all a little bit surprised there because of his age with his speed, or should I say lack there Going rushing touchdowns, I would expect our quarterback sneaks, but here he found all of his guys covered. He said, why not? And by the way, if that doesn't fire up your team to see the veteran like that risking his body for the touchdown, I don't know what will. Suck up for the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. So that one a pretty time consuming 10 play drive. And the capper that put it in the end zone, a run of eight yards. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee. And they'll take over at the 25. The Saints offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests. But in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Despite only needing one, Dalton to throw. Got an open man, it's a lob -A. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, forget the run on third and one. They shot the D and rip off a pretty big play. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. This will be Dalton again. Looking left sideline, incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. To throw again on second down, Dalton. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. That's a room to maneuver. And it's a pick six. He brings it back. Extra point try now for Suckup. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film set. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Levante David. And the Bucs are going to take possession of the football. And they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. A handoff to Fournette. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. A great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. 
Fournette once more on second down. An agile move, but not a huge gain. Dropped at the 25. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. On third down, Fournette. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. 